To operate the Ventus slide-on pump, we'll begin with a visual inspection. Ensure that the pump is in good condition. It has an attached power source. The door is in good working condition. And also conduct a visual inspection of the filter. Unscrew the cap and remove the filter. Once the filter is removed, you can inspect it for damage or any type of contamination. If the filter is in good condition, reinstall it. Ensure that the white filter media is facing up or out of the pump and reinstall the cap. We'll also conduct a visual inspection of our sampling tube, making sure that we have a filter installed and attached to the end of our sampling tube and that it's in good repair. Once I've inspected the sampling line in the instrument, I can attach the two, install the sampling tube onto the filter cap, ensure that we have a nice good seal and we've got a good continuous path that's in good repair. Power on the pump by pressing and holding the power button for three to five seconds. We'll see the LEDs, we'll hear the alarm, and the pump will begin operating. After the pump has been operating for a couple of seconds, we're gonna conduct a pump fault test. Now for this test, I'm going to cover the audible alarm because it's gonna be quite loud, and I'm going to block the input of my sampling tube. By going into alarm, it ensures that the sampling path that I have is tight and that nothing will actually prevent that from blocking. And that's so that I know when the pump goes into a blocked condition if something happens to be pulled into the sampling path and I can't see the end of my tubing. Now that my pump check has been conducted, I'm ready to begin sampling. I'll install my instrument now. Release the lever and open the door. Take the Ventus diffusion instrument and place it in top first and slide it down into place. Once it's in place, close the door and close the latch. The diffusion Ventus is now a sampling instrument. The Ventus slide on pump is capable of pulling a distance of 50 feet, which is fine for the accessories that I have here in this demonstration. But if I needed to sample a distance greater than 50 feet, I would need to go to an instrument with an installed pump. To demonstrate the draw rate of the sampling pump, I'm going to attach the blended gas cylinder to my sampling input. I'll open the regulator, and then after approximately 20 seconds, I should begin to see the readings. This illustrates what's known as our two and two rule, two seconds per foot of tubing to allow the gas the time to travel to the instrument. Now again, after approximately 20 seconds of travel time, I should begin to see readings on my instrument. And there they are. We'll silence my alarm by placing my thumb over the alarm opening and allow that gas to continue to be pulled through the pump to clear it from the sampling line and then ultimately be diffused into the instrument. My instrument went from a high alarm to a low alarm condition and after the last low alarm is cleared, the alarm condition goes away. To power down the Ventus slide on pump, we simply press the power button and hold it for five seconds. After it finishes the countdown, the pump powers off and we can now remove our instrument. Close the door, return it to our charging device so that it's ready for the next use.